Hello, gentles and ladymen. I'm Ulan Gaming, and after a long time, I'm finally here with a new build order guide. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm glad to be back, because these are really fun to make. Today's strategy is the Priest slash Inquisitor Rush. I like to call it the Inquisition Rush. A team strat where you and your allies swarm your enemies with Inquisitors and Priests. You might notice that this video is kind of long. That's because after the guide, there are two full games where you can see this strategy in action. Once against another rush, and the other is against a hardcore malted Dutch turtle. So you'll have that to look forward to. Now this strategy does require a bit of luck or prep work. You and your ally need to be playing Russia and Spain, and you need a map that has access to the Inquisitor Outlaw. So that's where the, the luck or prep comes into play. Remember, at any time, you may hover your mouse over the tavern without building it to get the tavern description, which will tell you all outlaws and mercenaries available at it. Additionally, since outlaws are map dependent and not random like mercenaries, you can also check if they are available by clicking the map information tab at the top. Inquisitors are only available on certain European maps, so if you're on a European map, you know for sure you can't do this strategy. This strategy concept has featured on my channel a number of times with different forms. Only recently has it been truly refined, and even more recently, the August update changes to how Mission Fervor function have made the strategy borderline broken, so use responsibly. This is the first time I've ever done a team build order guide that actually relies on two sieves doing precise things and interacting with each other, instead of just a strategy for a sieve that I might recommend be used for team games. All of my footage is from the Spain player's perspective, but I will be giving simplified build order information for Russia as well. With that all out of the way, let's start from the beginning. In Age 1, Spain is grabbing all resource crates and using them to construct two houses and setting everybody to food. First shipment is three villagers. Age at 15 vills with the governor for an outpost wagon and 200 coin. This is literally the most basic age one ever, so plenty of time scouting the middle of the map and, and the enemy very thoroughly uh, will, will be given to you, so make sure you, you scout a lot and take plenty of treasures. Russia age one is to grab all the resources and construct one house, move all settlers to food and train to 14 vills. First card is distributivism, age of the quartermaster to 4 400 wood. There won't really be a good moment to stop and talk about decks later, so let's do it now. This is the Spanish deck I'm using for this strategy. Important cards include the Archaic Soldier combat cards in Ages 2 and 3. The reason we are using Spain for this strategy is because Archaic Soldier combat affects Inquisitors, since they buff hand infantry. Both Germany and Malta also have Archaic Soldier combat cards, but both of those sieves only boost crossbows and pikemen specifically, and no other units. They don't boost the hand infantry tag like the Spanish one does. Uh, this means that Spain is actually the only sieve in the entire game that can give a plus 30% total HP and attack available to Inquisitors through cards. Other important cards include Taverns, which cut their population cost from 4 to 2, a card entirely necessary to send, pretty much as early as humanly possible, uh, Unction is in this deck for obvious reasons, 7 Rods, and Team Inquisition in Age 1, which is really just there for flavor more than for practicality, but I do send it and it does often turn out being useful. The, Ru the Russia deck is largely unassuming, it looks like standard Age 2 Russia stuff, Taverns is in there in case the Russian player feels like he also wants to make Inquisitors, but the real important standout card here, the linchpin that makes the strategy possible, is Team Patriarchy, an H2, an age 2 card that cuts the price of priests and healer units in half. Now this is important because Inquisitors actually do have the healer tag, and as such they are affected by this tech and only cost 50 coin after it's sent, which is a hilariously low price for such a quality unit. But we'll talk about what makes the Inquisitor so good later. Other than those two cards, it's very standard Age 2 Russia cards and unit shipments that we all know and love. At the start of transition, use one settler for Spain and two for Russia to go to the forward base location. Ideally, this should be both close to the enemy and also claim one to two coin mines. Uh, you burn through coin mines rather quickly with the strategy, as you might expect. 
Russia will immediately build a blockhouse at the forward location as soon as they have the wood for it. Spain has to wait until age two with the rest of the world before they can make forward buildings. Uh, also at the start of transition is an eco-switch. Spain is keeping six vills on food and moving everyone else to wood. Keep this up until you have 475 wood, and then keep six on wood and six on food, and put all other and new settlers to coin. Your wood choppers need to build houses at every opportunity in order to keep up with your unit production. As Russia, split vills between food and wood until you reach 150 wood, and then set four to food, four to wood, and the rest to coin. Now it's time for age two. For Spain, this means it's time to ship five vills and taverns, one after the other. We can also finally make buildings. We're going to start with a church and immediately build a tavern right after, both at the forward location. When the church is built, we will immediately research Mission Fervor, a tech that boosts healers' HP by 50%, raises their healing speed, and cuts train time in half. Uh, as mentioned, this affects the Inquisitors, which is uh, quite the HP boost, as you might notice. Within seconds of the tavern being complete, Team Patriarchy should arrive and you can start training Inquisitors for 50 coin and only 2 population. Remember making houses when, uh, to make houses whenever you can. Your next shipment after taverns is Archaic Infantry Hit Points. Okay, time to cover Russia. As Russia hits age 2, that 150 wood that you got earlier will be dropping a church next to your blockhouse. As soon as possible into hitting age 2, send Team Patriarchy for cheaper, cheap priests, for cheaper priests for the whole team. Collect your wood on the ground and research Mission Fervor from the church. Construct an, a house in a market and research hunting dogs. As soon as Patriarchy arrives, begin training priests at your church. These only cost 50 coin and train very fast, but have 300 HP, almost as much as a Hussar. As soon as Russia has two batches of priests and Spain has two batches of inquisitors, it's time to go on the attack. Now let's take this opportunity to talk about the units involved. Priests used to be a little better pre-nerfed, but uh, they only cost a, they cost a 75 coin and had almost 500 HP. Uh, they've been nerfed to have only 300 HP after mission forever, uh, but now also only cost 50 coin and train faster, so they're still good. They're still invaluable meat shields that do their job really, really well. Uh, they have low hand attack and cannot siege buildings, but their real lo strength lies in their unit tags. That is to say, they basically have none. Uh, there is no unit in this game, not even cannons, with a multiplier against priests. This makes them very capable of stalling or overwhelming skirmisher masses that might otherwise be a threat to Inquisitors. Priests can also, of course, heal each other and any other military unit that currently isn't doing anything. Uh, just like the Inquisitor, but much better, uh, as they have almost double their healing ability. Uh, the real star of the show, however, that steals the spotlight and makes the strategy function is the Inquisitor. And the Priest basically exists to support the Inquisitor and account for weaknesses. Uh, with 150 base HP, Mission Fervor gives them a very high 225 HP, and with Archaic Soldier hit points, which we sent very early on, uh, before we even pushed, they'll go as high as 248 HP in the Second Age. Uh, they have 15 base hand attack, but do not, uh, but, but they do siege damage, which gets around unit resistance for most units in the game. They have 5 base speed and positive multipliers against explorers and, mer and mercenaries, high enough to kill most in just 1 to 2 hits. They also have a 1.5 times against villagers and a 2 times versus cav. And because of a siege attack speed of 1.5 instead of 3, they're also very good at tearing down buildings. This unit is fast, tanky, has high damage, has high HP, gets around resistance, sieges well and raids well, counters raids and cavalry well, and only costs 50 coin. It's a bit of a monster. In the previous patch, they had less HP and trained much slower, but the real magic of this patch is that Mission Fervor now uh, b now cuts their train speed in half, and they go well, they went from training a batch every 35 seconds to a batch every 17 and a half seconds. Uh, the difference that this makes cannot be understated. Your ability to swarm your opponents is no joke. After Archaic Soldier attack and unction has come in, they have 22 hand attack instead of their base 15 a 50% boost in total. Push your opponent's base, siege important key buildings like barracks, outposts, and houses. Keep in mind that Inquisitors 
have uh, no siege attack loss from being in cover mode, which is really weird. It's probably a bug. Uh, but you can put your whole squad in cover mode and siege buildings just as quickly. Uh, just make sure you remember to take them out of cover mode when you're done for the faster movement speed. Uh, get priests to connect with the archers and skirmishers to take up all their time. Uh, same with any falconets that may or may not show up from a fast fortress. Do not engage the priests with cav. Let the inquisitors handle that. Let the inquisitors burn down buildings. So priests on archers and cannons and just being in the way. Inquisitors on cav, uh, musketeers as well, and buildings. Now, both players keep training batches of units as reinforcements and send them into the fray, just non-stop. For Spain, your next early cards are going to be Archaic Soldier Attack, Unction to start training mercenaries, Seven Rodoleros, or Inquisition. You can send them in really whatever order you want. Uh, you get shipments so fast, you'll likely get the opportunity to send most, if not all, of these. After a while, if you feel comfy with it, send House of Trostamara and go to H3. You likely won't get the opportunity, as the game will probably be over well before then, but it is an option. When H3, Archaic Soldier Combat, Two Falks, and Team Two Falks, and Folk Heroes are all the priorities. Uh, for Russia, if you are able to keep your Priest Mass built up, add more Settlers to Food and Wood, and start training Strelitz from your Blockhouse. Try to keep priests. Try to keep your priest mass, you know, very large, preferably capped at 30 at all times. Your third shipment is very flexible and can either be 700 coin for more priests, 13 strelts to deal with musketeers or archers, or five cossacks to deal with archers, uh, skirms, and go raiding. It's up to your discretion, really. There isn't much special here since it's mostly just standard rush affair. However, if you feel that you do need to make Inquisitors, if for some reason there's just that much cav on the field, uh, send taverns and build a tavern and get started training. From the moment you push, the strategy is a matter of how well you can keep up the pressure. Keeping the pressure is very easy for this strategy since your units are so cheap and train so quickly, but you cannot let the enemy have a chance to build up. If they have a large mass of units on the field, the cheapness of your units is useless because they aren't population efficient. So stay aggressive and don't let them build up. Keep burning and pressuring and burning until they give in. Uh, that's all for me for the guide side of things. Here's two games of the strategy against another rush and against a hardcore Malta Dutch turtle. Enjoy. That's wrong. Weird, I'm not getting my Mexico intro music. The fuck, game? Almost like you're not playing Mexico. Or, I'm not getting- it, it, Spanish is still Mexico, they're the same country, you can't convince me otherwise. Ah. I was telling uh, people on the server last night, it's like, eh, Sp you idiots know. Because as everybody knows, Spanish is a country, and it is the same country as Mexico. I am well versed. Preparada. ¿Cuál es su orden? Correcto. Sí. Oh my god, I always forget how fast your first shipment comes as as uh, Spain. Spain. It's as fast as your first shipment with with USA. It's ridiculous. Sí. Sí. Correcto. Lo haré. Sí. Correcto. Preparada. I see it. Oh, this guy is microing his explorer real well. Alright. He's also refusing to leave me alone. And his brother is there with him. That's fine. Let them be. Uh, let them be distracted by that. This fucker, dude. 
I'm gonna yeah, pull truck with my dog here. again. Yeah. I'm kind of proud of myself for pull trucking this, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Though they seem to be all over us in terms of really, dude, you're gonna be in my base with this shit. No, you're gonna, your explorer's gonna die. All right, gold mines are up here. Yeah, I know. All right, I got the explorer. He was dumb enough to go into my base and try that shit, so he died to CC fire. I wonder if Logi works well here. I'm gonna try. Okay. There. Okay, aging. Sending my guys forward. Leñadora. Lo haré. Correcto. Alright, well, Mexico's down an explorer, and he's within view of my town center in the back of my base, so. Yeah, so there's not much hope for him there. Yeah. Preparada. Correcto. There's also a Japanese shrine. Avoid it with your bills. Avoid it with your bills. Oh, thanks for the call. I think he already spotted mine. ¿Cuál es su comando? Yeah, ¿Cuál es su... Preparada. Leñador. ¿Cuál es su comando? Alright, Japan is here. And he's going up with Tory Gates. Buddy Boy picked his uh, explorer friend up. Up, up, up. Did you see that? Mill wagon heading forward. And a hacienda wagon right here. Yep. All right, it's going to be an interesting fight here, then. Yes, it will be. Everyone's forwarding each other. Voy a hacerlo. Correcto. All right, sending patriarchy. Que me sí. Voy a hacerlo. Lo haré. Correcto. All right, we're going in hot. Prepara. Voy a hacerlo. Lo haré. Has Patriarch already come in? No, it's on its way right now. It's about halfway. Okay. I kind of screwed up my build orders beginning, but it's fine. They're wasting time trying to burn down my church up here, but I already have mission fervor from it, so oh, it's everything I need. Knockers. That's nice. Okay, just it just arrived. Yeah, Mission Fervor is already fully researched, so they're not going to get much out of that. Dude, this one, the, this one damn explorer has been chilling in the back of my base here. Very annoying. Okay, now he's finally moving him. Alright, I got his explorer out. I'm seeking down the, these shrines here. Oh, I have Naginata in my base. Alright, I need your help with the up here if you can help. I'll go deal with the Nagis if you can help with the rush. I, I'm handling the rush right now. I, I uh, don't have the force yet I need to stop the rush. I'm handling the raids at the moment. Sí. 
He's just ignoring me right now, and he's coming in with pickies. Alright, where's this rush happening? <laughs> right here. Okay. And he just knocked down my TC. My, uh... I need to vacate, 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 vacate. Alright, you deal with the peakies, I've got Strelix. I'm gonna charge the muskets right now. Skirmishers, can you take care of those? Uh, try. I've got Cossacks I'm sending in, but they're nowhere nearby. And Navajos as well now. Watch behind you with the peakies. Where? Right behind you. I, I don't... Oh, the red, okay. I didn't realize the red were enemies. It's fine. I have that. I'm, I have that completely won. Alright, let's get this down. Alright, Team Inquisition coming in just for the flavor. I'm getting a church up so I can get my missionaries. Because they burned down my first church. Nice forward blockhouse going up. Yep. Reclaim this site. Nice. Okay, Japan or Mexico? Uh, let's go for Japan. Salties. If you can deal with the Nagis, please. Working on it. Thank you. Oh, there's uh, soldados and skirms, nothing we can't handle. Yeah. Narcos. Sono 
So have you tried mixing any, um... <laughs> Try hards, <laughs> Have you tried mixing any Inquisitors, or do you feel it's better just to, uh, keep doing what you're doing? I'll see, now I have my starting music. Oh, it's so good. I love the, the Spanish starting music. I almost said Mexico again. No decks have been picked yet, other than mine. Preparado. Lo haré. Voy a hacerlo. Lo haré. Cazador. Sí. Lo haré. Sí. Preparada. Lo haré. Sí. I got Pink's Explore. Nice. Not quite dead yet, but will be soon. Pink's Explorer is out. Malta Explorer is still fresh and juicy. Nice. And he's chasing me off. Well, one down is one down. Sending up to where your dogs are. Sí, correcto. Lo haré. Al ataque, lo haré. Sí. Motherfucker, I can't shake this guy. Oh my god, I am hella late to my age up. Hmm. About 500 food late. Leñador. Prepara, leñador. ¿Qué me ordena? Leñador. Yeah, like, good fucking god, I was way too focused on the Explorer Micro. I clicked up at 3.30. ¿Cuál es su comando? It happens. ¿Cuál es su orden? Correcto. Lo haré. Sí, correcto. Sí. It was cool to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against another rush last game. That was really fucking awesome. Sí? Hola? Sí. Preparada. ¿Cuál lo haré? Hola? Yeah, I should be in H2 by now, ma'am. 
Alright. Uh, That's a fast age up from Malta. It's gonna, yeah. He's he's gonna be on the water, it looks like. Yeah, that's fine. Preparada. Your, uh, Prepa recolector. Water boom don't matter if, uh, you know, you don't have land. Amen. Amen. Hola, constructor, const constructor, leñador. Want to help me get revenge? Uh, my explorer just died. Okay, you got your force ready to go? Yep. Cool. Faster train time, let me catch up. I uh, catch back up. I love these nice. changes. Let's go in. Oh, they are. Look at this defensive lineup they got here. Uh, let's go for Malta. Oh, yeah, the, Malta. Churches, the, the churches will be easier to take down than. Uh... Yeah. Oh yeah, they're going uber defensive. That they are. Alright. Let me do so. Wow, what? Oh, there's Haas. Yep. Four outposts, Jesus. Yeah, I don't think they were expecting, uh... Yeah, my priests now just melt. Okay, go after the skirmishers. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pursue them. I'm going after those huss. Alright, I'm sieging down the next racks. I will not let him keep a racks up. No, cannot. Alright, we have some skirmishers up. I'm gonna go after the hus, you go after the skirms. Or the skirms, I see him on it. The Huss are behind me and mullering my, uh, priests. I see it. Alright, he keeps running away the second I get close. That's yeah, fine. I mean, it's the right move. It is the right move. He stay close to me. Yep. Alright, I'm going for the TC. Leñador. Guía el mi objetivo. 
House coming in behind us. I see it. Line of sight card coming in. TC down. I'm going after this uh, this next yeah, rack. For the next rack, yeah. Oh, Call it. I get that you had a lot of outposts, but not <laughs> but not enough. All right, so I think it's safe to say that the priests are still a good idea. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This was, as ever, a ton of fun to make. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please do consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. And have a great day.